Hello and welcome to this micro lesson on how to alter a material's transparency based on distance from the camera. So, as you can see here, I have three spheres all with the same material on, which have a different, a different transparency dependent on how close the camera is to it at any point. I'm going to show you how I've done this. So this is the material that I'm using. It just has a solid color into the base, ma base material, base color, and the material is set to a translucent blend mode. Right. Now, all, the, all of the, the work is done here, plugging into the opacity. Uh, now, opacity is a, a, a zero to one with one being completely opaque and zero being completely transparent. So we're using this math to figure out what each pixel should be. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm getting the pixel depth. Now this will return the distance from camera for each of the pixels. So this is my, my starting point. Now I am going to subtract a, a thousand from it. Now we can change this number in order to, to confirm where the the transparency uh, the, the shift changes. So if you can see in the viewport here, it starts to it starts to change when I get up to this point. If I would reduce that to zero, it would start to change immediately. So it would fade out. It would fade out very very quickly. Okay, so I'm going to change that back to um, one thousand. Now, you can so you can alter this number in order to alter where you would like the transparency to start. The second thing I'm going to do is is divide. Now, this number you can alter. I've used a thousand, and it will change how uh, quickly it fades. So, for example, if I was to change it to zero, it would be completely transparent. It would be completely opaque until you hit a certain distance. Then it would just completely disappear. So that, um, however, the larger I make the number, the more subtle that change is going to be. So let's set it to 500 and you should see that it starts to fade out like that. OK, now the next thing I'm doing is I am inverting alphas. Now I'm doing that because I want it to be more visible the closer you get to it. However, if I was to not use that, it would do the opposite. So the closer you got to it, the more the more uh, transparent it would be and the further away the less transparent it would be okay so let's plug that back in now the last thing that i'm using is a clamp and this is just really there in case you want to set a minimum or a maximum transparency so if i was to make that 0.2 and 0.8 then that would mean it would never go outside those values no matter how far away you got it was never going to go below 0.2 transparency and no matter how near you got it was never going to go above 0.8 transparency so that is everything thanks a lot guys bye